Sora and Shiro are two siblings and are known in online games as the undefeated group named the Blank. In real life, they are Hikikomori, who are ostracized from the world. One day, they receive a challenge from Tit to a game of chess and are victorious. In response, he offers to send them to a world which revolves around games and they accept, believing it to be a joke. They are then summoned to a reality known as Disboard, where a spell known as the Ten Pledges prevents violence and enforces the rules and outcomes of games. They travel to Elkia, the nation inhabited by humans, where Sora plays poker against a woman for her money and wins by outcheating her. He and Shiro rest at an inn and decide their next goal is to find a home. Stephanie Dola, granddaughter of Elkia's deceased king, loses against Kurami Zell in a contest to decide the next ruler. She then confronts Sora for not revealing how her opponent was cheating. Sora tricks her into a game of rock, paper, scissors, and after winning, uses the pledges to make her fall in love with him. Sora and Shiro then move into the palace with Stephanie, where they learn more about the world and decide to help Stephanie revitalize Elkia. During Kurami's coronation, Sora reveals she was using magic from the elf, Phil Nilvalen, to win her games. Kurami salvages the situation but is forced to play a game against Sora and Shiro. Originally, they believe the game is chess, but Sora deduces it's a war simulator with chess-themed pieces. Sora's charisma rallies her army, giving them an advantage and forcing Kurami to cheat by corrupting Sora's soldiers. In return, Sora persuades Kurami's queen to join his army by declaring her king to be corrupt. Kurami's army begin defecting to her former queen. Eventually, her king is assassinated due to her tyrannical rule, and Sora is victorious. Sora denounces Kurami's plan in assimilating humans with the elves, declaring humanity is stronger than she thinks. Sora and Shiro are crowned the king and queen of humanity and begin solving Elkia's political and economic problems. They later attend the formal coronation and receive humanity's race piece, a chess piece, which represents humanity's rights and free will. Tet visits Sora and Shiro and explains that whoever gathers all 16 chess pieces, one of each piece, will earn the right to challenge him for his title of god. In response, Sora and Shiro accept his challenge, declaring they will be the winner. Sora and Shiro leave Elkia's political responsibilities to Stephanie, until she is challenged to a game by nobles who refuse to reform. She challenges Sora to Blackjack in hopes of binding him to the pledges to perform his duties. She attempts to use false shuffling but loses due to card counting. Understanding her predicament, Sora trumps the nobles and uses the previous game to have Stephanie act like a dog. Stephanie tries several more games on Sora to take responsibility as Elkia's king but fails. Sora and Shiro reveal they were not slacking but are researching ways to conquer the other nations. In response, Stephanie redirects them to Elkia's library which is owned by the flugel Jibril. Sora and Shiro challenge Jibril by betting their tablet computer full of books, considering it of high value. Jibril offers her freedom in exchange. They begin a game of materialization Shiritori where the words they use will materialize or disappear from the environment. From the game Shiro and Sora deduce, this board's scientific research is lacking and uses his knowledge to their advantage. They succeed after removing Coulomb's law and inducing a hypernova removing Jibril from the game. Impressed by the two, Jibril solemnly pledges her loyalty to them. Jibril shares her knowledge about the Werebeasts, revealing they have been undefeated for decades and always take the memories of the game away from the opponents. When Sora learns Elkia's king challenged the Werebeasts eight times and lost a large amount of land, he denounces the king and upsets Stephanie. Upon further investigation, Sora questions the king's motives and eventually learns about the king's will from Stephanie. Using the key from the will, Sora and Shiro find a hidden library in the king's chambers. There, they discover information regarding the Werebeasts and their choice of games. Sora and Shiro enter the embassy of the Eastern Federation Nation of the Werebeasts to issue a formal challenge. Sora and Shiro reveals the Werebeasts use video games and threatens to leak the information to the elves if their challenge is not accepted. Sora bets humanity's chess piece in return for all of the land on the continent. As the Eastern Federation makes preparations for the game, Sora waits for the missing piece needed for victory. The next day, Shiro realizes everyone has forgotten about Sora. Believing Shiro's memories have been tampered with, Jibril arranges a chess game to remove the memories regarding Sora. Shiro decides her memories are real and wins the match. After investigating, Shiro calls Sora arranged a game of reversi with Kurami. The game's pieces consist of the components making up Sora and Kurami's identity. Having lost most of his pieces, Sora was nearly erased from existence, but the last three pieces allow Shiro to keep her memories of him. 
Shiro finds the pieces in her room and places them on an invisible board, winning the game and restoring Sora. From his victory, Sora shares his memories with Kurami, allowing them to form an alliance and gains the right to manipulate Phil's memories. Sora and friends bond with Kurami and Phil as they make the final preparations to conquer the Eastern Federation. Per Sora's demands, the match against the Werebeast is made public in order to prevent them from cheating. The game begins and Sora, Shiro, Stephanie, Jibril and their opponents Izuna, Hatsuse are sent to a virtual reality world which resembles Tokyo. Sora and Shiro's agoraphobia acts up and they enter a devoid state. Recalling they are in virtual reality, Sora and Shiro return to normal. The game is a form of cops and robbers where they use guns that fire heart-shaped bullets. While Stephanie remains clueless about the game, Sora, Shiro, and Jibril battle against Izuna and deduce that her grandfather, Ino Hatsuse, is relaying their location and state of mind to her. Sora and friends regroup as Shiro makes the proper adjustments to their plans. Executing the unspoken plan, Sora and Shiro corner Izuna, forcing her to use an ability called Blood Destruction to augment her abilities. Sora and Shiro are defeated. As Izuna drops her guard, she is shot by Stephanie riding an NPC. Sora reveals he bound Stephanie to the pledges to hide her intent, while Shiro calculated the NPC's movements, allowing Stephanie to hide her location. While Izuna laments the Werebeast's fate, Sora assures her of his goodwill. Sora forces political pressure on the Eastern Federation leader, the nameless Miko, to challenge him to a game. They have a coin flip where Sora has it land on its edge. He convinces the Miko to declare they both win, and as a result, Elkia can share resources with the Eastern Federation while the Werebeast maintain their self-rule. The allied nation is named the Elkia Federation. In the aftermath, Sora and friends have the Miko channel and old deuce for a game. Did you like this video? Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe while you're at it. And as always, I will see you in the next video.